Hello everyone, it's Burton. Um, I'm back, so thanks for waiting three weeks. Uh, real life got in the way for a little bit, but I'm back now with part number 18 of the High Tower series. Now seeing as it's been a little bit of time, I'm just going to spend um, a quick minute recapping and finding out what actually happened. Um, last time we were trying to get ourselves a betrothal with Dawn after we suppressed the revolt. Um, we've gone ahead and we've managed to take the lands of Highgarden and Manderford from the Gardeners and the Tyrells respectively. And we've also got the issue of having Hornhill and a very unhappy lord sitting there behind its walls. So Honeyholt, this was the leader of the revolt, here he is, Norman. Um, Norman is sitting in the dungeons right now and he's not looking too happy himself. We're just going to quickly call our family out of hiding as well because there's no need to hide now. And uh, instead of banishing Normans, because that's going to cost a little bit of money, we're just going to let him uh, probably go ahead and rot, because as we can see here, his heir, he hates us as well. And the reason why he does is because we had to take some action a few years ago now as a result of a game bug, which meant we had to go ahead and uh, execute this seven-year-old. He was a threat, what can I say? Um, so what we need to go ahead and do now is just quickly have a look at our vassal opinion and just make sure we don't have any other sort of internal problems themselves. Good news is it appears it is just Beesbury, which is fine. It means we can uh, get on with our next stages of the plant. Um, now, while we're going to be doing this, let me just speed up a little bit and we'll have a quick look at our family. So, yeah, she's... Florence, um, he's married to Darkdale, that's fine. Um, oh, that's inappropriate. No, thank you. Um, Ralph, Blackhaven, so we got a um, thing with the people of Nightsong, which is great. Um, oh, we don't have the money right now, so we're just going to have to pay 50 gold and then uh, wait for two years. That's going to cripple us a little bit, but perhaps we can... Uh, make some money in the interim period. Dawn have accepted the uh, the betrothal between Elaine and Prince Quinton. We'll have that, thank you very much. He's only 10 now, so we've got to wait a year or two. Uh, that's quickly just a point. Septon Ar Armerick. That's a catchy name. We'll go for you. I'm just going to be calling you Septon, because I'm not pronouncing that every time. Um, so, got quite a lot of titles under us now, we just need to make sure that uh, if we go for anything else. In fact, she was in Smallwood, where's Smallwood? Um, oh bugger it, it's somewhere, it's it's close. So she's in there, uh, so in Descent. Um, we need to pick an ambition though, so what are we going to go ahead and do? Um, we don't want to become Master of Coin or Castilian or anything like that. Um, Camphor. Is he my grandson, I think? Yeah. Oh, he's a bastard grandson. Oh, that's great. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can make use of him. He is ill. So, um, I'm not holding, <laughs> I'm not holding out the highest hopes for him. But we'll give him a good chance. We'll put him with Gerald. He's got a good marshal. Okay learning. And, you know, he's good at diplomacy, so maybe we can get ourselves a half-decent person who may or may not be able to uh, lead a stack of troops at one point. Um, as for our ambition, um, I kind of want to become independent. So we'll go for that, seeing as uh, everyone thinks I'm a, a tyrant. This is a problem, though. Because we've got the uh, Crown Loyalist led by Theodore of the Arbor. Now Theodore, um, we've been working on him for a little bit, but as we've called him into a war, we've received a negative uh, of 25, which has dropped down the opinion. Beesbury's still whinging, so we're just going to carry on letting him rot right now. Back to the plan in hand. So, oh, what's happening here? 
Oh well. That's nice to see that uh, the Lady of Blackhaven is rather aggressive. So, uh, and they've also got quite a lot of troops, I like that. So what next? Well, we have Hornhill, we have an unhappy Oswell, and uh, we have a du jour claim. So I think we're going to probably go go on and uh, do that. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that, he hates us. Now, if I remember correctly, he does have some allies, and I think it was the Oak Cart and someone on the Shield Islands. Um, we'll check that in a minute, and let me just call up these people. Um, oh, right. I thought he had slightly more than that. Okay, should still be more than enough to take care of three and a half thousand. So let's just quickly get all of these where they need to be going. We'll have a northern force and we'll get a southern force together. They'll meet in the Honey Holt. Might take a bit of time to get places. Um, oh, the Horn Hill men are moving already. Well, we'll leave that little contingent of 180 men then. You never know, might slow him down for a second. So there you go, there's his allies. It's uh, Oak and Shield there, and uh, the Oak Carts above them. So yeah, they might have more men than we do, but uh, we have friends too, and our friends are bigger than theirs, so I'm not worried much. So let's get everyone into place. Um, They've stopped moving, so we'll push on up to Darkdale, maybe. We'll wait until we get more. Oh! Oak and Shields, how have they managed to get 3,300 men? They live on an island, that's small. Wow. Well, they've been working on something. So, potentially, we're up against uh, a more powerful force. The Florence won't come and join us. The Red Winds will if we need them to. Yeah, so we've got both Red Winds. Um, I'm not going to call it up for now, they're, they're the backup plan. That and the fact we do have enough money for mercenaries right now. Um, the only problem is, it's quite a bit of money, and I need to pay off a loan in two years. So we're going to hold fire on the Mercs for now. Um, if we can take out the people at Horn Hill fast, then we've no need to uh, call in reinforcements, mercenaries or allies alike. So let's combine everyone here. Let's get you guys moved up to Middlebury. Hornhill might move. We don't know. Oh, Elaine, well done. What have you got? Oh, learning. Oh, that's really good. I like a smart child. The people of Oakenshield aren't actually moving. Um, this is somewhat surprising because they could actually take me right now. Hornhill, though, they're trying to be slightly more aggressive. They're moving. We're going to wait for them in Darkdale, though. Let's see if they change their minds now that we've stopped and we're setting up fortifications. We have plenty of reinforcements coming down as well. I get the feeling they might turn their attention though. As soon as our people from High Garden arrive, they might go for the smaller force instead. Obviously I'm going to lead our centre. On the side we're going to have Wally's um, because he's a flanker. So let's see if they do what I suspect. We're remaining in Dark Dell for the moment. It's the force of 1,700 we are uh, we're going to be watching. While we're waiting for that, let's just auto balance, which doesn't work. So we'll just transfer them across manually. That'll do. So now we've got more men in the center, which is fine. They look like they're still wanting to move on us. And there we go. Oh right, I've got a scar. Fantastic. Uh, they've stopped, they've changed direction, they're going after the smaller force in Middlesbrough. Um, let's be smart. We're going to stop them from moving, we're going to put someone half decent in command. Give them some okay people on the flanks. And then we're going to move our contingent up to Darkdale. And that should be more than enough. This may be over quite soon. It's just a matter of... Oh, Elaine, the smartest child I have has gone ahead and been foolish. Ah, oh, silly girl. 
So let's push on up. Um, the people of Oakenshield aren't moving. If they moved, we'd be in trouble. Um, luckily for us, they're not. Let's just stop those 83 from taking them head on, shall we? Um, and we've almost got our 5,000 men there. We do need a new maester. Fantastic. Let's see how much this guy costs. Maybe it's like 22 or something. No, 23. God, they're getting expensive. Considering they come from the city that I own, I think I would get some discount. You know, for being their landlord and everything. Right, so here we go. 4,800 men with me at the centre. Gonna attack the Lord of Horn Hill. Oak and Shield are on the move as well. Um, we need to win this battle fairly quickly. Got a new maester. Um, yeah, okay. Holzman, you told us he's arrived. Alright, yeah, it's good. There we go, so the battle starts. So we've got Oswell, Samwell and Talwin. Um, they've got no men on the flanks at all, they'll be crushed in no time. And then we'll concentrate on the centre, where they've got the majority of the force. Um, mostly heavy infantry. So it's quite interesting to see what they're actually attempting to do. Because they've got impressive harassment. We're countering that with harassment of our own and a volley. Um, their flanks have gone now and we're all pushing the middle. It's going to be over in no time. We'll come at them from both sides now with our reserves. Uh, we've captured Samwell, that's okay. Um, who are you? Yeah, that's fine, I'll take you. And there we go now. Oakenshield has stopped and besieging the Mandifords. So we have to quickly just take care of uh, this small army here. In fact, we're not going to do that first. We'll go to these guys. I'm not going to be besieging anything because this is the sort of war I can win in just maybe two more battles. So we'll take care of this 752 contingent of survivors of Horn Hill. Then we'll push around to the Man Mandafid and hopefully press the Oaken Hearts. Oaken Hearts? Oak Oaken Shields. And uh, we'll press them back to uh, back to the islands, the Shield Islands. Oh, I've been wounded again. I've just got over one wound and now I've got another wound and uh, well, I'm just going to be a scarred, a scarred tyrant. Oh, I'm angry about it. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and press them then. With my wounded anger. No, yeah. The 94 we'll send. I thought we're sending everyone them. Um, Alistair, you can have the honour of crushing them. Oh, looks like um, they're running all the way back to the Shield Islands. So it's going to be a, uh, a long old journey just to end this war. Our little battle's going on in Horn Hill. They've already surrendered it looks like, which is fine. And we've arrived on the islands. Um, oh. We're getting quite a big negative modifier, probably because we're on their turf and we're on an island. Um, but we should have the numbers at our hands. Let's look how much it's affecting us. Yeah, quite considerable. Um, but we've taken it easily. Uh, that's fine. Uh, war scores at 100. So let's go ahead and uh, accept their surrender. So there we go, uh, we've won the du jour of Horn Hill, and Horn Hill is now under our control. Which is fine. Um, he obviously hates us, he desires the high lordship still. Um, he is ambitious, which means he'll probably try and push some things should we revoke the title. Now it would lower opinion of all vassals by 20, can we afford for that to happen? Let's see. Um, I mean, we can try and counter it by holding a feast, I suppose, and see if we can um, generate some more. I just don't like having vassals in the low 20s. 
Uh, in the meantime, we probably need to have a look at handing out a title or two. We've got Samwell Middlebrook, we obviously trust him, and we've got my son. Um, he desires the High Lordship of Westmatch, maybe we'll just give it to him. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just grant you the High Lordship. Hopefully I'll make you a happy guy. There we go, and um, you should like us more than you like your liege, because technically by giving him the High Lordship, his liege is now the Queen. Um, which isn't much of a problem to be honest with you. Yes, we lose like direct control, but we'd also be able to... Uh, we've got him as an ally anyway, he's my son. And I've got bigger plans, so we're gonna need to have room for more uh, for more titles in the future. God, this feast is becoming expensive. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and maybe lavish on foods. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, as you can see there, the effect that it's kind of had there. Horn Hill, we won't have their troops. Which is fine, because even if we took the title, we wouldn't have their troops for years anyway. So the question is, where to go next? Now I fancy becoming independent. Oh, this is just costing me more money. 22 for a broken tower. Go on then. Yeah, so I want to become independent. I'm not going to do it just yet. We've got a certain, a certain alliance with the Dornish to come ahead. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to wait for that. In the meantime, it might be an idea. Now we know how strong a certain shield island is. If we maybe press along that way. If we take the shield islands, then uh, it's only going to be a matter of time before we can do what we've always wanted to do, and that's take control of the reach. Because I am a tyrant, as you can see. Oh, everyone's arrived to the feast. Welcome! Yeah, so I am a tyrant. I'm scarred. I'm dishonourable. We need to kill a queen. That's what we need to do. But, unfortunately, we've also got to pay a certain bank of bravos. And we've also got to tell Scepter Eamon to fuck off. Bugger off. Go on. So that's him gone. <laughs> I've been invited to a tourney. Well, I'm 50 years old, it might be my last one, so we'll go and we'll have a little look. Although I'm too old to ride a horse and uh, the hips don't lie. So we've got, um, it's not Ralph, here we go. Who was it? It was Oberyn, that was it. So everyone's arrived home, we've got some good perception now, which is great. And it's only going to be a matter of time now. So, leave some comments in the video, let me know what you want me to do next. Obviously, I want to become independent, maybe take the Shield Islands. Is that a good idea? Is that terrible? I don't know. The quicker you guys <laughs> leave some comments, the quicker I'll be able to do the next episode for you. And keep an eye out for some more content as well coming soon. Slightly different games. And I've also got maybe a little roleplay like my old ones in Crusader Kings 2. So once again, thank you very much for supporting the series and supporting the channel. Um, obviously, I'm hoping to do a few streams now and again. And uh, I think that's about it. So we'll leave Normand in the dungeons for now. He can stay and he can rot. And that's just how it's going to go for poor old Normand. That's what happens when you actually mess with me. So, everyone, say goodbye to Normand. I'll say goodbye to you. Thanks for watching.